What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here. It's really late at night, like 1am in the morning and everyone's sleeping, so I gotta do this one quietly. Oh yeah. Um, but anyways, yeah, I watched this episode and I was almost done with it, but then I had to go to work, so I finished it up as soon as I got back and now I'm recording. Um, but anyways, this was a super fun episode. Um, great way to start off the season, so they're heading out away from Atlanta, just trying to find this other town or something and they get caught in this traffic jam their car breaks down again and there's all these other cars lined up so they're trying to fix it and there's there's this huge zombie horde that passed by i seriously thought we were going to lose someone i mean we may have lost someone because sophia uh the daughter of um ed's wife the one that he beat up the short-haired gray-haired old lady her daughter sophia she ran off when the zombie horde attacked, so um, she's still missing. We don't know where she is, so hopefully she's okay because I don't want her to go. I don't like seeing little kids die. It makes me really sad, <laughs> um, which <laughs> makes the ending even worse because in this episode, Carl got shot out of nowhere. I don't know where it came from. He's like looking at a deer, and then pow, and the bullet goes through the deer and hits him, and oh my gosh. Oh, and it cuts off just right there. Like, what the heck is that? But yeah, people are starting to panic. The characters are starting to get all crazy. Andrea wants to kill herself, which is sad. But then she chewed out Dale, which made me a little angry at her because she was being really mean, too. I mean, Dale didn't do nothing wrong. <laughs> he was just trying to help. Jeez. Um, but Shane is still being a big old baby. I hope he leaves. <laughs> And Andrea wants to go with him, so, man, eh, why not? They can both go. I'm just, ugh. I mean, I don't want to side with either Lori or Shane, because they're both being children about this. This isn't some high school drama cheating. This is husband and wife stuff they gotta talk about. They gotta be adults, for crying out loud. Seriously. Um, for any lady viewers that are watching, if any lady viewers even exist in my fan base... Um, guys want honesty. That's that's all we want. That'll that'll make us happy. None of this. I'm fine when you're not fine stuff. But anyways, yeah. Lori and Shane drove me nuts. Um, I cannot wait for this plot line to be resolved. But yeah, I'm kind of freaking out because they're stuck on the freeway. They might get moving soon. But Carl got shot. Sophia's still missing. And woo. So I'm gonna. Head to the next episode now, or tomorrow, or something. Yeah. <sighs> episode 2 of Season 2. I just said I don't like seeing little kids get hurt, and Carl got shot last time. And now this time, he's like, getting surgery to get the bullet fragments out, and he's like, they don't have anesthetics, I guess. So he's screaming in agony and squirming and while they're trying to cut it out, and ugh. Ah! Uh, uh, <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. But anyways, yeah, that's going on and Rick's giving blood and while that's happening, Shane and the guy that shot Carl, Otis, uh, they're going to, uh, uh, they're going to a hospital or something to get some supplies so they can perform a full surgery or something. It's, oh, it's not, it's, oh my gosh, it's not fun. It's scary. <laughs> oh boy, this show, um, this is going to give me a heart attack. Um. Oh, huh. um, but anyways, with the RV gang, um, they're still scavenging stuff. They're trying to, they're about to go head up to the farm and all that, uh, to find, uh, to find Rick and everyone. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Uh, but maybe the groups will combine. They'll get their numbers back up since they've lost, uh, Amy, Ed, uh, Marl, uh, and, um, 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 um other girl <laughs> and Jim uh, I'm remembering all the names except for that one black lady but uh, T-Dog is not doing so well he's got a blood infection um, they gotta get him some antibiotics I think they found some in Merle's bag um, but they keep bringing up Merle though they haven't shown him anymore but they keep bringing him up so I don't know why um, but anyways yeah not too much happened just trying to fix Carl while everyone else just hangs out and does their own thing Nothing, nothing too huge or special or anything, so... Yeah! Um... 
I don't mind if shows have a slow middle or slow parts throughout the series, as long as it starts quick. As long as it gets to the point of what it's about and what it's going to be like, then I'm okay with it. Which The Walking Dead did. It did pretty good. Like, the first episode covered a lot of stuff, so that really got me into it fast. And then uh, the rest of the first season really kept me up. I can tell this one's going to be a little bit slow, season two. Um, but I think I can handle that. Um, I'm already interested enough. Uh, they kept a few characters that I enjoy alive. It's not like they killed off Glenn or T-Dog yet. Although I'm worried about T-Dog because he's got that infection. Oh, man. Uh, but Dale's still around. Uh, I don't know if he will be for long because he's old. He might just die of age. Uh, that'd be bad. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, just stressing out and I'm going to get on to episode three now. Shane, you evil. <laughs> Welcome to episode three. So this was pretty much another super slow episode, just more doctor stuff trying to repair Carl's bullet wound, and it seems it's finally working, but Lori, for some reason, was like, you know what, just, just let him die. He doesn't, he shouldn't live in this awful zombie world. Oh no. Come on, lady. That's your kid. Come on. Um, Lori's still getting on my nerves, but... She is getting better. Shane, however, is getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. They made me feel sorry for him at first. Like, they they made me think that Otis, like, just didn't make it on his own and it was sad. But no, 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 no. They were running away from a zombie horde. Shane had a hurt leg while Otis was fine. So it seemed like Otis was going to make it and Shane wasn't. But no, he shot Otis in the leg so he'd fall down and be keep the zombies busy while they ate him. So Shane could get away, and then Shane just lied about it. Ah, uh, ha, ha, ha! I'm, I'm done with my ups and downs with Shane. I am done saying, is he gonna reform? Is he gonna get better? Is he gonna reform? No, Shane needs to go. Go, go, go! Because <laughs> that was, that was just downright villainous. That wasn't just like a heat of the moment or a mistake kind of thing. That was downright evil. Like, why? Um, but it seems like Carl's fine now, and as for the others, they're just sort of hanging out. Uh, uh, Glenn and, um, T-Dog finally got to the farm. Uh, hopefully T-Dog's arm gets, uh, healed up and all better. And Dave and Andre are trying to make up, because they had a little argument spat fight in the previous episodes. And Daryl is just off being Daryl, because Daryl's cool. <laughs> I like Daryl a lot so far. He might be one of my favorites. Uh, Daryl and Glenn and Rick. I like them the most. Daryl, Glenn, and Rick. T-Dog's cool too, but I'm scared that, uh, the blood poisoning might be a bit too much. Because, <laughs> you know, Carl came out fine, so that's, that's a bit too happy. They're gonna have to have some kind of casualty, and I'm afraid that T-Dog is up next. Or maybe, maybe Otis will be the casualty. Uh, <laughs> so, I guess, I guess, I, I don't know anymore. <laughs> This is this series is throwing a lot of surprises. Hopefully, it keeps this up because, oh man, this is getting this is getting good. This, this, despite things being slow, this is getting real good. Oh man, kind of odd how the zombies haven't been causing too much danger so far. I mean, they got Otis, but that was only because Shane shot his leg. Ugh. Um, and Otis is the one that shot Carl, and Andrea's the one that was a danger to herself because she wanted to shoot herself. Uh, T-Dog cut himself and has blood poisoning, so all these people are just dangerous to themselves and others. The the zombies ain't doing nothing. <laughs> but with Otis gone, Shane back, Carl supposedly all healed up and trying to recover, uh, they're probably going to start working on T-Dog next. And it seems they're starting to regroup at the farm, so who knows what may be happening. They might... Uh, who knows what may be happening. They may camp out at the farm for a bit, or they may head out somewhere. I don't know. Morgan may show up. I'm still waiting for Morgan and uh, Dwayne. Come on, guys. you got to make it. you got to still be alive. I liked you a lot. Uh -huh. But yeah, episode four. We're going to get to it. Alrighty, now that's episode four. And I can see why people are saying that season two kind of drags on a lot. Um, they're still at the farm. Haven't got much done. Carl's still recovering. Uh, Daryl's still out looking for Sophia. He's doing a good job, though. It seems like he's... Seems like he's a little bit on the trail. Like, he found this old abandoned house or something. And there was blankets and pillows set up in a pantry or closet. 
So maybe Sophia could have hidden there for a while and built herself a little nest. <laughs> I don't know. But he's he's still looking. Daryl's the man. He's got this. Daryl's awesome. I like Daryl a lot still. <laughs> um, but yeah, not much else really happened. They just... Uh, Glenn and the farmer's daughter uh, uh, went on a supply run. I think her name's Maggie. Either Maggie or Maddie. I can't remember right. Uh, but I'm going with Maggie, because, yeah, um, because I feel like I heard that name before, uh, and they got, they, they, uh, got freaky in the, um, in the drugstore, <laughs> out of nowhere, <laughs> they went at it fast, sheesh, but anyways, there was also this little thing where, um, there was a zombie stuck in a well, and he was going to poison the water supply, so they tried to get him out, and as soon as they did, he split in half, and his guts fell in anyways, so, there goes that. <laughs> so I can tell there's a lot of wasted time, a lot of dragging on, just lots of filler going on right now. And I can see why people would get aggravated at it, because not much zombie killing going on. I think that was like the only uh, zombie we've seen that episode. Um, but yeah, Shane is still getting on my nerves. You can tell he's guilty. He feels guilt for what he did, but he's not caring anymore and he's just shrugging it off. He even hinted at it towards Andrea, and it seems like she gets it, but she's still saying silent anyways instead of snitching like she should. Oh my gosh, these two are just driving me nuts. I want Shane and Andrea to just go. I can't wait until they're going to be gone from the series, hopefully soon, maybe. I really hope uh, I really hope they don't make it. <laughs> I know that's cruel, but again, it's TV. These are characters, but jeez, I don't, I don't like them as characters. They don't have to die. They just have to leave and go somewhere else. I'm just, mm, I'm grouchy. <laughs> but yeah, this is a pretty short episode discussion. Um, there's not much to talk about. Uh, they're still looking for Sophia. Carl's recovering. There was zombie in the water. They couldn't get him out. And Glenn and uh, Maggie, I think, uh, did stuff in the convenience store or drugstore. Oh yeah, also at the very end. At the very end, we found out that Lori is preggers, so she's going to have to tell about Shane eventually. Oh man, this is going to be... Oh, I can't wait for this to blow up in their face so Shane can leave and hopefully take Andrea with him. But yeah, that's it. I'm going to go watch the next episode. Season 2, Episode 5, Chupacabra. This was a super good episode. It's another Search for Sophia episode, but I think this one's probably my favorite out of all of them so far. Um... Because it was mostly uh, Daryl-centered, and I like Daryl. He's one of my favorites so far. Um, uh, but we did get to see more Merle. It was sort of in a hallucination, sort of uh, illusion type thing. Because Daryl got beat up pretty bad, so he was seeing stars, seeing Merle. Um, I wouldn't say I'm exactly glad to see Merle, because he's a jerkwad. But, I mean, I'm glad to see... That he's still being acknowledged, so it gives me hope that that plot line was going to be closed or finished up later. Because, I mean, no joke, if this episode didn't mention him or show him at all, I was about to ask or say that I give up on them continuing the Merle thing. Just like the Morgan thing. Like, are they going to go back to Morgan and Dwayne? Because it feels like that just went completely nowhere. I hope we get to see them uh, coming up soon. Um, so I still have hope for Merle's little arc, Daryl and Merle thing to show up. Um, they kind of have the, the sibling rivalry that I expected them to have from how Daryl talks about Merle and stuff. Um, but as for the rest of the cast, Andrea and Shane are still both driving me nuts. Lori too, because she didn't do anything this episode, but mostly Andrea and Shane. Shane is still being horrible and selfish, and Andrea is mm, she shot Daryl after he already got beat up and hurt with his own crossbow and ah but Glenn and Maggie are also having issues they're having on and off on again off again sort of stuff um but a big thing happened at the end um it seemed like they were on again so they were looking for a spot to get busy and Glenn chose a hay barn or hay a hay mill hay whatever it's called a place where they store hay for the cows and horses and whatever else eats hay. Um, so Glenn climbed up there, and as it turned out, 
They've got some walkers stored in there, so I wonder what that's all about. Why they haven't killed them. Uh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe Herschel, the old man, the old farmer man is just like a pacifist, like a super pacifist, and he didn't want to kill them. But, uh, speaking of Herschel, I like him. He's the man of God. He's a good guy. He's letting them stay there as long as they follow the rules. Um, but it seems like they're breaking a lot of rules, and he's giving them a lot of chances, so, I don't know. Some people may see him as being grouchy or stuck up or just very strict, but he's giving them lots of chances. They stole a horse, they fired a gun, they killed a walker, uh, f -f 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 -f, they're using their kitchen to cook food, uh, b -b 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 they brought someone out hunting or searching for Sophia without permission. So yeah, hopefully they won't be in too much trouble with Herschel, and hopefully... Hopefully things go well next time and there's nothing super bad. Hopefully shit stuff blows up in Shane's face and he goes away. Hopefully Andrea goes away. And hopefully Maggie and Glenn are okay and she doesn't turn on him just because he found out the big secret. Um, there's a lot of stuff that just bursted open at the end, so I'm excited to see it all. Anyways, that's what I thought of this episode. And yeah. Alrighty, this was about the slowest episode by far, but still some stuff happened. Nothing really came of those secrets of the walkers in the barn. Uh, but, um, other secrets did come out. Like, finally, the Lori and Shane thing, even though they didn't really talk about it too much, they saved it right for the end. But the Lori being pregnant thing is known now. Uh, Rick actually yelled at her, which is what she wanted a couple episodes ago. So, woof, she got what she wanted. Rick yelled. Is she happy now? <laughs> um, but Andrea and Shane... Good grief, these people cannot keep it in their pants or keep it in their mouths because Lori made herself throw up abortion pills or something. And, uh, I already said I don't like throw up. Ugh, Someone in the comments let me know if they chill with the vomit because I cannot, ugh, I cannot do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, overall there isn't too much to talk about. They still didn't find Sophia. Carl's up and walking around though, and uh, Shane taught Carl how to shoot, and um, they might be hitting the road soon, like Herschel says, or maybe something will happen that'll make them stay longer. Uh, but Shane is also catching on to stuff that Dale knows, and Dale is catching off to stuff that Shane's trying to keep hidden, and so Shane is trying to threaten Dale, and I don't want him to threaten Dale. Dale's cool. Shane needs to go away. <laughs> ASAP. <laughs> Maybe now he will, since Rick was told the truth by Lori. Um, but anyways, that's all I have to say about that episode. Again, it went slow, um, but I, you know, I don't mind it too much, because if you think about it, we're still only on it. That was still only episode 12 out of, like, what, over 100 at this point? Uh, let's see, 8 seasons, uh, 16 episodes in 6 seasons, uh, plus a 13 episode season, which is this one, and then a 6 episode season, which is season 1. That's about uh, 96 plus 19, 96 plus 19, that's uh, pff, math, mm, 112 I think, 96 plus 19 is 112 I think, no 115, 115, I can't math, I might be wrong, um, <laughs> but anyways, yeah, that was the episode, I'll see you in the next one, can't wait to see what happens. Oh, well they found Sophia. All right, so episode eight, uh, Lori and Rick seem, or episode seven, seven, sorry, episode seven. So Lori and Rick seem to have worked out their, the, the, the Lori's pregnancy issues off camera because there was no fight or argument um, at the beginning. But, um, wow, this episode, um, Shane is absolutely nuts. I thought he was going to shoot Rick. Ugh, I just, oh, I hope Dale's okay because, ugh, if he killed Dale off camera, I'm going to be so mad. Because I already don't like Shane, and I like Dale a lot. He's one of my favorites. If we find out that Dale is gone, I don't think I saw him at the end there. But, ooh, ooh Shane. Uh, and I did get a little bit mad at Herschel because he was being a bit too stubborn. I mean, I get it. They broke the rules several times. They asked too many questions. They overstepped their boundary way too much. So Herschel had every right to deny them his barn for staying there. But I did think he was a bit too strict. And um, Maggie and Glenn are kind of flip-floppy again and just... 
but oh man, I feel so bad for Herschel now. He honestly thought the uh, walkers could be changed back, and maybe they can. Maybe there's a cure out there somewhere at the end of the series. But still, Shane just like wrecked his whole world. It's ah, uh, that's awful. Shane, go away. <laughs> I don't like Shane. <laughs> Someone needs to put a stop to his garbage already. But yeah, mostly this was another very slow episode. There was a couple dramatic moments here and there, like between uh, Dale and Shane, and then a little tiny spat between Shane and Lori, and then another tiny spat between uh, Glenn and Maggie. Speaking of Maggie, I really like her. I mean, the on-again, off-again thing with Glenn is kind of aggravating me. Like, can they just settle something already? But... As a character, as a standalone character, I like Maggie a lot. She's she's really pretty and nice and yeah, Maggie. Glenn has good taste. <laughs> Daryl and um older lady, I f still don't have her name down. I still don't have her name down. What is her name? Comment section. Uh, I'll probably learn it by next video. Um, I get these done way ahead of time so that no one can spoil me on a few upcoming episodes. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. But tell me her name anyways. <laughs> Overall though, it seems like the slow arc that's dragging on that people were talking about, it seems like that's finally coming to a close with this whole huge event of Shane just going crazy, opening the barn and then shooting everyone, and then of course Sophia coming out. It's just... Wow. I can't wait to see what happens next. This show, man. This show.